Hey everybody, welcome back to Scorecard Collectibles. So glad you could join me for my Footy Stars binder update. We will be going through all of my Footy Stars cards, Footy Stars Prestige, and all of the highlights and Neb Rising Stars. I have zoomed out a bit today so you can see more of the binder, so say hello to the wooden table everybody. So let's kick things off with the base of Footy Stars. Of course, if you don't want to sit through this, here is the time code to jump forward and likewise, all of the different inserts are time-coded in the description for your convenience. But let's kick things off with the base set, and of course, there was 10 cards per team. So, as you see, we start off with Adelaide, uh, and then we've got Tex, uh, the 10th card uh, in the uh, team set. So it does, you will see then, with uh, there's a bit of a, a spillage uh, over the page. They did rectify that with uh, with the uh, prestige, eliminating one player per team. Um, it does bug me slightly not having the full um, page. I mean, even if they went back to 12, you would still have that line of three, but then at least it's consistent. Um, whereas here, so there's only four teams that are lucky enough to get a full nine card spread. And those teams are Adelaide and the Bulldogs because they're at the front and the back and the Suns and the Hawks because they're right in the middle. So congrats if uh, your one of your teams has uh, got that because I think it just looks fantastic when you've got all of the same card on the one page. And there you go, we've got James Warple just hanging out with some demons. But I really like the look of uh, this year's commons. And let me know if you've managed to collect all of the base this year. So that is the end of the AFL commons. And then if we turn the page, we have the awesome AFLW commons, of course, Brisbane, winning the grand final. I think these are uh, superb looking cards and I really love that they have uh, player bios on the back. I do uh, really like learning about all of the different players. So that's the AFLW Commons set and then we finish off with technically the uh, first card of the set. It is the uh, checklist card uh, or header card. We, in the older, olden days, we did get uh, three or four uh, checklist cards. They've now just turned it into one header card, but because I like all of the uh, players, I just like stop kicking things off with technically number two, uh, the, the second card. I just like having all of the players uh, together and then just popping this at the end. So next up are the one per pack cards, the holographic foils, uh, or as the hollow foils as we like to call them. Uh, these are eight per team, and I'm doing pretty well at uh, trying to, we're not quite there, but we have got quite a few of these. Um, but they, I think they look really awesome. It's nice when you get the whole page. And then even that looks really, really nice. The backs of the cards with the hypnotic swirl. We do actually have quite a few pages uh, complete uh, with a few gaps left to fill. We are of course at that point in the season where we are getting a lot of repeats. Uh, but that's okay, because it just gives more ammunition to do trades. And there you go, well, we are missing a four on that page. And there you go, we're just need that middle one to complete uh, our Bulldogs cards. So that are all of my hollow foils. 
So it's a 144 card set and I only need 18 more cards to complete the set. So that's fantastic. And thank you to everybody who I've done trades with to help try to complete my collection. We will continue and hopefully by the end of the season have a full holo set. So now it's time to check out the Camo Starburst caricature cards and these are always one of my favourite uh, inserts each year in the select cards. So let's go through here, we've got four players per team uh, and see uh, we've only got one Collingwood. That's, a, that's something I need to correct. There are quite a few gaps in the collection. But nevertheless, lots of really cool cards. I do really, really like the, uh, some of them funny pictures, some of them not. We've actually uh, almost, uh, we're only missing one card on that page. They look so good. And then we have the Fire Starbursts, which were exclusive to the starter packs. And when they catch the light, they just look superb. I haven't put them in any order, but they are so cool. So next up we have the Game Breaker inserts. Uh, let's go through these. I am putting them in the spot that they should, uh, should go, and hopefully uh, but we do have a lot of spaces left to fill, so uh, yeah, it's going to be, I think, hard to complete the set. But we'll give it a crack. Got quite a few Geelong players. Just uh, Jed Anderson chilling out on his own. And that, I believe, is the final page for the uh, Game Breakers. Then next up, we have the Acetate cards. Uh, I uh, have put these in a sort of uh, order with the players, but of course, uh, I don't know how many I'm going to get uh, by the end of the year, so I've uh, I've left a couple of little gaps here and there. Uh, and then we've got two Bulldogs uh, to finish us off for the Acetates. Then up next, we have uh, one of my absolute favorite inserts every year, the Milestone cards. And look, look at them popping. They just look so cool. I have not put these in any order. These are the order that the uh, cards have come out uh, of my pack openings. I, uh, what I do at the end of the year, when I've finished collecting a set, I actually put them in uh, order of 100 games. I put all the 100 games together. Um, I think the official numbering is that they just go by team. Um, but I like it. I think it looks better when you've got the same uh, number milestone all together. Uh, especially the 250s look so good. Looks so good, especially when they're together. So, you know, the milestones, I think they're like what? Like, uh, like eight or nine a pack? Not, not that you get nine in a pack. I mean, like one every, let's have a look. Yeah, they're eight, eight, one every eight packs. So uh, they are harder to get, obviously, than the uh, the other inserts that we've just gone through, but they are definitely one of my absolute favorites. Then up next, we have the best and fairest cards. I've uh, picked up Riley O'Brien, Darcy Byrne-Jones, and Caleb Daniel. Uh, and I have actually picked up uh, Riley O'Brien and Darcy Byrne-Jones doubles, which is uh, kind of funny, but uh, if anybody wants a uh, Riley O'Brien or Darcy Byrne Jones and they've got a uh, Taylor Adams, I would be very happy to uh, trade for that. 
Then up next, we uh, have the highlights cards. Let's go through these, because uh, I've just put them at the end uh, of these. Of course, they're not technically footy stars, but they are a select release, and I've uh, just put them at the back here. Um, but I think they're a really, really uh, superb way at looking back uh, at the, uh, the year that was. Uh, we've got 14 and 15, chilling out uh, 34, but they are always a little bit uh, contentious. Well, not always, but sometimes uh, they are. Uh, number five, I think, is our lowest for the Nat 5. Yeah, that's the lowest. And then since then, 205, 208 for the Jamie Elliott. Uh, quite high numbers, but number five for the Fifey uh, is our lowest numbered highlight. And then we've got the Nab Rising Stars, which I think they, they look really superb when they're all the same design. Uh, they look fantastic and it will be really great, you know, to look back and uh, see where these players are in, you know, 10 years time. Do we have names, superstars of the future? Uh, or, you know, there's always players that uh, just, you know, I don't want to say don't make it, but you know, not everybody can be, uh, not everybody can be a superstar. So just, you know, fascinating to see how people go. Uh, we've got Jason, uh, Jason, Jacob Kashitsky, number two. That was our lowest, uh, Nap Rising star. But I think they look really cool. They do look really cool. Uh, yeah, so that. Uh, were the highlights and nab rising stars that we've picked up so far. I've kept this little sheet because I do like collecting ephemera. Now before we get to the prestige inserts and the super special footy star pickups, let's quickly go through the prestige base set which is the same as the footy stars base set except the background is a super shiny uh, silver finish and they did knock off one player, so we do have the uh, nine players per team on one page. If you want to skip this, there's your time code to jump forward. But otherwise, uh, let's uh, quickly go through this. So as you can see, Brisbane, Carlton, they're all, they've all got their own page. Which is just, there's just something that's very pleasing about that. It would be actually interesting to go through and see what player they decided to get rid of. Otherwise, it's all the exact same players, all the same pitches. But hopefully that shine is showing up. They're basically like mirrors. Put them on your roof and empower your house with them. And, and there you go, we've got the, uh, the, the header card. So now let's take a look at the prestige inserts. And first we kick things off with the game breakers. These were the same as the footy stars game breakers, except they have that rainbow finish and it really sets them off really nicely. Uh, we've got Brisbane, Carlton, Collingwood, we only we got the one Pendles card. I thought we got Brody Grundy, but we must have got him uh, in the uh, normal game breakers. We did end up actually getting three Essendon game breakers. Uh, very nice. I put these around the, the wrong way, but there you go. That's a full page of super delicious, yummy uh, rainbow game breakers. That looks spectacular. We got our three clearance kings with Stephen Canilio, Clayton Oliver, and Jack McRae. If you're curious about the numbers, they were numbered 58, 117, and 74. So then we have our red parallels, and we uh, picked up, of course, 12 from our three boxes. Uh, we got Lockie Scholl, Dane Zorko, Hugh McCluggage, David Mundy, Andrew Brayshaw, Joel Selwood, Jack Viney, Sean Atley, Darcy Byrne Jones, Zach Jones, Shannon Hearn, and Tim English. Then uh, for our blue uh, parallels, we did get Riley O'Brien, Charlie Cameron, Dylan Scheel, Tom Stewart, Nick Vloston, Jack Darling, 
And then we were also lucky enough to pick up this blue Sam Walsh, a blue blue, of course, just one off his jumper number. And that was our lowest blue parallel that we picked up. And then our three green parallels were Seb Ross for uh, St Kilda. He was numbered 47 out of 60. We uh, picked up this awesome James Sisley Hawks green. And that was a jumper number, number six. That was stunning to get. And then, well, we uh, also picked up a Jack Zeeble jumper number again. We picked up two green jumper numbers, which is a uh, pretty amazing luck. And uh, yeah, those greens look super cool. And then we're also lucky enough to pick up two Brownlow leaders. We got this Rowan Marshall from St Kilda. Uh, that was 75 out of 80. And we also picked up a Patrick Dangerfield, which was numbered 62 out of 80. So very nice picking up two Brownlow leader cards. So we weren't lucky enough to pick up a Platinum Brownlow Predictor or a Marquee card. So these were the highest ratioed cards that we picked up from our three boxes. However, I think you can successfully argue that uh, two green jumper numbers uh, are clearly the hits of the boxes and harder to get. Since technically they are one of ones. So taking things back to footy stars now, and these are all of the bank cards that I have picked up. We kicked things off at the start of the year by pulling our first bang, which was Zach Tui. Uh, not long after that, we were lucky enough to get a Scott Pendlebury number four uh, from some random packs. The Chad Wingard came from, I'm pretty sure that came from some starter packs that we opened in the 500 subscriber special. Um, I got the Darcy Moore in a trade. We of course got the Tuke Miller and the Josh, the misspelled Josh Dacos uh, came not that long ago. And of course, if you were watching last week's Score Center, we did pull a Tom Rockcliffe Port Adelaide bang from uh, just three packs and three random packs. Uh, so that will uh, be added to the collection, of course. And speaking of Tom Rockcliffe, we uh, of course picked up his Brownlow Predictor card uh, earlier this year. And our first Brownlow Predictor that we pulled was Ben Cunnington uh, from the Ruse. We've also pulled a Brisbane Lions Coleman Predictor. And then of course our other Coleman Predictor that we pulled is this beautiful Geelong Cats Coleman numbered one. Which completely explains why I've been so obsessed with Geelong kicking goals this year. It all now rests on Tomahawk's shoulders to try to catch up to Harry, but whatever happens, it's a beautiful looking card and getting a number one is always an incredibly special moment. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my Footy Stars binder update. Of course, we will check in later in the year and see how I'm going to trying to complete all of those sets. Well, I wish you luck in completing your footy star sets. As always, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait for you to join me next time. <laughs>